Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Karma Bryant, and you are listening to Overcoming Narcissist Abuse, or watching it. And I'm your host. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And today, I wanted to, we were talking about that we're in a series dealing with narcissist weapons. Uh, and one of the weapons that I wanted to talk about today is the, the weapon of projection. Uh, in the world of psychology, projection, which is coined by uh, Sigmund Freud. I think it was coined by Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud. Freud. There we go. And uh, projection is a psychological phenomenon. So it's a psychological defense mechanism where people or a person, and, and we're talking specifically about narcissists, but where a person uh, will take all their negative attributes, sort of things uh, uh, that they don't like about themselves and they won't take accountability for, and they attribute them to someone else. So they hold someone else responsible for how they feel, how they act and what they do. For example, uh, a husband or a wife that constantly blames the spouse, you know, or the partner for cheating. And that spouse or that partner knows for, you know, I've never cheated on you. I've never cheated in my life. You know, I've never cheated throughout this whole, you know, relationship. Well, remember I did a video that said, uh, talk less, listen more because they tell you exactly what's going on. They blame you for what they're, what they're doing. You know, a narcissist, especially when they're projecting, they assume that people always think the same way they, they, they think the same way that they do. And so you can hear them say things like, you know, because they don't have any respect for people. They don't have any respect for anybody. You know, they don't respect anybody and it's all about them. So you hear them say things like, you know, you don't have any respect for me. You you don't even see my value. You know, you don't respect me. You don't see my value. And really is if they're projecting exactly what they're doing and what they're saying and what they how they behave. They, they don't have any respect for anyone. And a lot of times they don't even realize that they're projecting projecting that onto someone else. Uh, you know, you don't value me, you don't respect me. Or for example, a lot of times the somatic narcissist, you know, somatic narcissist, when you guys are with one of them, excuse me, um, and especially if they're in, in really into appearances and looks and money and, you know, they're always trying to be something that they're not, you know, they're, they, they work at a McDonald's job and no offense to anyone working at McDonald's, but they work at a McDonald's job, but they live the life of the rich and famous. They live the life of, of people that are multimillionaires, R and B stars, you know, they'll ride around in their cars and pretend like they're in a video shoot every day, you know, and then when you call them out on it, like you do know, this is real life. This is not a video shoot, you know, and the first thing they say is you're just jealous over me because what I got, you know, when I get this contract and what, because nine times out of 10, they know they're never going to get it. But now they're projecting their, their, it's really irrational, but they're projecting it on you or you know, they know that they're living, they, they don't have enough money to live this dream or afford these type of cars. So the very first thing that they do is they tell you that, you know, you're not a team player. You need to get another job. You need to, you know, but it doesn't matter. You never are enough. You never can do enough. You never have enough, you know, so it doesn't matter. No matter what they say, you'll never have enough. And really it's the reality that they don't have enough to live that dream. So they're projecting, they're, they're projecting onto you what they don't have. They don't have enough money to live that lifestyle. They are not, you know, lifestyles of the rich and famous, uh, you know, flying around in helicopters and riding in yachts and you work at McDonald's or you work a common job, you know, and so they project that that's unrealistic, but they project it on you. You're not doing anything to help me be the greatest person that I can be. And you're thinking like you a grown woman, man, and you, if you want to live that lifestyle, then you need the money to live that lifestyle. If you don't have the money to live that lifestyle, but see now, uh, remember, and they always think that everyone thinks the exact same way that they think. So because of the fact that they're always, they're always on the hunt, they're always doing something that remember, I told you, I had one tell me, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know that I lie. I know that I pretend to be something that I'm not, you know, I know that I play women. It's too easy to play a woman. All you have to do is tell a woman how pretty they are. And it doesn't matter. They just accept anything that I say, you know, and so they, they said it. So they know what they're doing. And so to project on you, <clears throat> a lot of times that's also a manipulative tool to get you to do what they want you to do. And many of you guys are living your life, you know, uh, trying to appease this narcissist and you're living the life like this is everything that they're saying to you, like this is you, this is not you, this is them. You are a movie screen. 
and they're projecting their whole insecurities and everything that is negative or everything that they can't do, they're projecting it on you because it's safer to project it on you than for them to take accountability of their own behavior and their thoughts. And like I said, they always assume everybody thinks like them. So when you accuse, one lady said that um, her, her, her husband always accused her of cheating or always accused her of doing something devious, called her a liar, called her vindictive, said that you were vindictive, you a liar. You know, uh, what else did he say? Uh, she said, uh, he called me vindictive. He called me a liar. He said that I was a scammer. Then she said, and everything that he was saying is exactly what he was. And you're vindictive and all you want to do is get back at people. And this is exactly how he was. But he projected his negativity on her. But you guys are living the words of someone that is telling you about how they are. And you guys are, you, you, you're taking responsibility of someone else's uh, behaviors or thoughts. This is how they are. This is not how you are. But a lot of you also struggle that cognitive dissonance. You know, maybe so, maybe not. You t they take little p. you take little pieces of it and say, well, this did apply to me. K put that aside. That is not you. A lot of us have things in common with a lot of people. A lot of us have narcissistic traits. A lot of you have narcissistic traits, but that does not mean that you're a narcissist. That doesn't mean that you have a black heart and that you don't care about other people. Everybody makes mistakes and people, you know, but when you are dysfunctional and you have that disorder and, and, and you are in, you know, domestic violence, they never take responsibility of their behavior. Everyone is at fault. It's everybody's fault the way that I act. I was molested. This is why I act this way. You know, I was abused and abandoned. This is why I act this way. You know, so you have to understand this is not you. This is them. That's why I told you guys in another video. Listen, listen more, listen more, talk less. And they'll tell you exactly what's on their mind and how they are. If you want to know what they're thinking, just let them talk. You know, how do you know that they're lying? They're talking. They're saying they're saying something. If you want to know what's going on in life, just be quiet and listen. They can't handle quiet. They can't handle no one arguing with them. And when they have no one arguing with them, a lot of times they just argue to themselves, you know, but they project on you. So I didn't want to make this a long video because I do have a lot going on this week. And so I just wanted to come in and give you guys another one of the weapons. Thank you so much for listening. You know, those of you that are wanting coaching, you're welcome to email me, Dr. Carmen Bryan at Outlook.com. Uh, I am accepting um, clients. A lot of you guys are coming in and coming out. You guys, you guys are doing well. And I appreciate you guys, you know, trusting me with your life. Um, but I do not do um, counseling outside the state of Washington. So if you are outside of the state of Washington, I cannot provide you with counseling services. I can only provide counseling services in the state of Washington. And coaching and counseling is totally different. So I want to ask, what is the difference? I do have a video on the difference between coaching and counseling. You guys watch that video um, and you'll understand. Um, those of you, some of you need counseling first. Some of you guys don't need coaching. You need counseling first. And so you can look underneath. There's a link. It's betterhelp.com backslash Dr. Carmen. And you can get a 10% discount for clicking on that sponsored link. If you're having financial difficulties, just let them know and they will also assist you with a grant. You know, once you get that out of the way, you want people that, that can deal with your mental, your mental, emotional needs, um, you know, uh, PTSD, uh, complex PTSD. You ask them, do you understand about domestic violence and psychological abuse and the effects of psychological abuse? A lot of them don't understand the terminology of, um, um, you know, uh, narcissist abuse. You know, some of the terminology is used is popular psychology. And so, you know, when we're educated, um, you know, within the confines of a university or school, we're learning the scientific terms and, and theories, you know. And so to, to listen to popular psychology, why sometimes I can't answer your questions right away until I understand what it is that you're talking about and to relate it to the psychological terms that we learn and oh this is what you're talking about so you guys have a little mercy on us therapists you know some of them don't understand that but I'll talk about that later um you know I think maybe on one of my podcasts uh those of you that um are oh make sure you guys go and um subscribe to my mentors page it's helen sadler destiny helper make sure you share you know if you stay with us for six months i guarantee you your mind is going to change you have to change your narrative change your perspective change your thought process many people don't want to get out of the relationship because of the fact you want to get help because you want to change the person well they're not going to change you're going to have to make a decision to change uh for those of you know that there's a conference coming up uh this saturday it's under the oasis um um uh, Oasis Ministries uh, under Pastor Gateway and First Lady um, Doris Gateway, uh, but it is on my Facebook page. So I, I don't know if the link, I put it on the community tab, uh, but you have people like uh, Dr. Caroline Leaf, The Flowers, you have um, David Burris, 
um, and myself and another uh, lady that will be on the panel. Uh, so please go and register. There's a link on Facebook. Uh, and I think I put it on YouTube. I think the link is on YouTube as well to register for your slot on Saturday. And it starts at 4 to 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. You know, make sure you guys go and register. So there's a lot of good things coming up. Thank you guys for all your support. And you guys go and be great.